Wayne, I have to admit, um, I thought Wayne lived in South Carolina, because when I was in South Carolina so much during the primary, he was at every event in the northern part of South Carolina, so I thought he had moved from the last time I saw him, but he is everywhere, and every time I've any, ever been in North Carolina, Wayne's been there, so I never knew what county he was from. Uh, but it's it's great to have you here, and thank you so much for uh, for the great work you do for the people of North Carolina. And uh, thank you, Craig, for uh, for helping us get started. And uh, it's a good story. It's a story all of you should take to heart. Uh, we had an impossible race. No one thought it was possible to be able to do what we did in, in winning that congressional race. But I went around and talked to the college Republicans at Pitt and other places, and, and when I was running for Congress, and and said. I don't care what you think, whether you think we can win or not, but act as you think if you think I could. Just believe. Just just act as if you think we could. And and go out and do and, and have the faith to go out and do the work that's necessary. And you never know what could happen. Well, I feel very, very good about what's gonna happen here in nineteen days. Woo! Um, yes. yeah. I even pulled out the sweater vest today. <laughs> and that was a good luck. It was a good luck for me, and I hope it's going to be good luck for Governor Romney as as uh, as we head down this stretch. But I can tell you, I am I am genuinely excited. You know, I, I Karen and I, when we decided to uh, to take on the, the the challenge of running for president, it wasn't the most logical thing for us to have done. The last time I ran for office. I lost the Senate race in Pennsylvania by more than anybody in 40 years. So the next natural thing to do was not run for President of the United States. <laughs> but we, we did because we felt so passionately that as these gentlemen said before me, that this country is at a crossroads. And as I traveled around the country, I, I got that sense that Americans understood that. They understood we were that when Barack Obama said he wants to transform America, he means it. Yeah. And he's doing it. Yep. He is in the process of doing it. That's why America is struggling under the yoke. That's why we're not growing. That's why, as Governor Romney says, we're growing less this year than the year before and less the year before than we did the year before. America isn't getting better under President Obama because he's doing things. He's, he's feeding us, if you will, the wrong, the wrong diet for us to be efficient and productive. He's feeding us things that are foreign to us. He's feeding us this yoke, this heavy yoke of government control, forcing us to do things that are against the interests of our business, the tenets of our faith, as well as the values that we hold. And America is saying no. And so I, I just... I just got to tell you that as I traveled around this country, I had a feel from the very beginning that this race was going to go in, in the right direction. And while I know people were saying, oh, you know, a few weeks back, a month ago, oh, this, you know, Obama's got this, Obama's got this. I always believed, just like I did when I was, when I was running, that if the American public saw the true conservative message out there, a clear voice, authentic voice of leadership, setting forth American principles and values that made us great, conservative principles, that America would respond at this time. And two weeks ago, when Governor Romney took the stage in Denver, Colorado, he unapologetically laid out the stark contrast between two visions for America. Let's take it back. I get chills right now talking about it. I debated Mitt Romney almost 20 times. I never debated that Mitt Romney. <laughs> it was the moment he went through this process and, you know, steel sharp, sharpened steel. He went through this process for that moment to be on that stage that night and change this race. I want to say to all of you, thank you for your prayers for him. Thank you. Continue to do so. What you saw was something really remarkable. Governor Romney, at that moment when all was on the line, put it all together and showed the kind of leader that we need in America. Yeah. 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 
And he did it again this week. Paul Ryan did it a week ago. And, and the momentum is on our side because the because Obama and Biden, they don't have any answers. No. All they do is play small ball and criticize what you know what someone says that that what they say they're going to do, not what they're saying they're going to do. They mischaracterize what the what what Romney and Ryan are saying and twist it into something that's almost unrecognizable, and says you know you vote against that. They can't even run against what they're running against. They they can't run they can't run on their record. They won't run on Romney and Ryan's record. They have to make up a record to run against. Yeah. Yeah. Obama must go. That's how bad they are. And that's why this race is moving in the direction it's moving. You know, I you've been around I've been around a races enough to know when things are starting to gel. And the momentum has shifted. And it's happening in this race. The momentum is, is at our backs. And that's why what we're here today to encourage you to do and to encourage you to get others to do is so important. Go across the street and vote early. Get your friends to vote early. Why? Because what does the press love to report on? Polls. Right. Every 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 story in this race starts out with a poll. Every headline is a poll. What's the most accurate poll? Voting. That one. Election day. Right. When you go to the polls, that's the most accurate poll. And so if we do what some of these early returns I'm hearing from some of these other states that started a few days earlier than you, is that the numbers are flipping. Absentees here in the state of Tennessee. 180 degrees. Excuse me, Tennessee. Well, sorry about that. North Carolina. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm going to a lot of states. I apologize. Here in North Carolina, they flipped. But I heard Tennessee numbers. That's why I was thinking about that. But they flipped. And they flipped in Tennessee. They flipped in Ohio. So they're flipping.